like last time on Sailing Solianus. We're buying a boat in a half hour. Thank All you right, very much. Standing on their our boat. <laughs> That's what you wanted me to say, right? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's our home. I could actually fit in here. Yeah. It is that big. Yeah. That's wow. why we need to think about maybe putting some more uh, that is insane. insulation in it. So what are you gonna cook me at the stove? <laughs> I have no idea. We gotta figure out how to work it first. lunch. It's a very beautiful day. We could go sail the boat instead of just look at it. We could. You're nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. Because it's our boat. Because it's our boat and it's a giant beast. We just got a thumbs up from that lady we drove past. I think she was trying to hitchhike. Oh. I don't goodness. think she was telling us you're cool. I think she was like, give yeah. me a ride. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I like that that was your first reaction though. Oh, well, but lady, it was, things it was, were cool. It was this type of thumbs up, <laughs> not oh, that not, type oh, of thumbs okay, up. So yeah, it's that's... like, which, you're cool, give me a ride. <laughs> you're cool, give me a ride. I don't know. Yeah, I'm nervous to take that thing out of the slip too. When we were out on it with Jeff and Linda last week, the gravity of the situation hit me, specifically how much weight is actually in this boat, how large the boat actually is, and how we us two tiny people are now going to be responsible for this 15,000 pound. Don't think about it that way. Yeah. It's so light and beautiful <laughs> that just a tiny puff of air can send it gliding through the Sure, water. yeah. When it's not in the middle of a 50 foot wide river right next to a drawbridge that sometimes doesn't open and <laughs> I'm glad you know how to drive boats. Yeah, I know how to drive boats. It is. It makes me very nervous as well. But I think we just need to go do it a few times, and we'll get better at it. And yeah, but yeah, I would say it is definitely one of the most difficult docking situations. The first one. Yeah. Our sellers are so lovely and put together a to-do list of sorts for day-to-day -day procedures and what you do when you haul it out in the fall, which we probably won't be doing, but it's nice to have. The first section is do not lose. The wire hook and fiberglass rod and top door on the side of the navigation table. Needed for taking out the battens in the mainsail. And then the wire rod under the pilot bridge. Used to clean out hole for water to drain the bilge from engineering. Alright. Do you know where all those things are? We've already lost them. <laughs> we can go anywhere in the world from here. As long as it's on the water. The world is our Rocky Mountain oyster. <laughs> Thank you.
storage area below there. I think I can put that coconut water in here. Sure. Oh man, what a day. We went sailing for the second time. And Kirk docked the boat perfectly. And it was a beautiful day. It was like 10 knot winds and we were just on a beam reach straight out of Lake Michigan and then straight back. Then we're sitting on the floor. <laughs> or on the cabin sole. Is that right? <laughs> This is our freedom party. <laughs> Fourth of July. Freedom from what? Freedom from land. Freedom. Freedom from ordinary life. Ordinary life. Never gonna see you land lovers again. <laughs> Ready? Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. To freedom. Ah! No. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> The first week after moving aboard was full of firsts. Everything was moving, there were new sounds, the front doorstep was moving up and down as the river levels rose and fell. Even the seemingly simple things required extra thought, like how to move around the boat without bumping your shins or elbows, how to start the stove, and where we were going to set up and work during the day. With so much to learn about living on a boat, we were really happy to be living right in downtown Racine where we had everything we needed right within walking distance. This is our alcohol stove puck. It's a very large hockey puck. <laughs> so we put denatured alcohol into there, and then we put it back in here, turn it all the way on, light the stove, and then turn it down. Basically what we're doing here is we are burning the fumes of this as it evaporates. All we're doing with this control is opening that. That's kind of how it works. Oh, we think. We think. We're trying to make eggs. Eggs with legs coming up. <laughs> Bring in the eggs!
I've got a bit of a mess on my hands. We've been living out of our suitcases out of the back of our car, even though we've been staying on the boat because we actually didn't really have anywhere to put our clothes. Um, we've got these tall hanging lockers in the Beaver, and they don't have any shelves or anything in them. So um, we were kind of waiting to figure out how we're gonna organize everything. We got this thing. Should work for now. It was a cheap, easy fix. It doesn't really like, utilize all of the space in the locker. So maybe we'll build shelves in the future, but in an effort to start sailing and get all of our stuff stowed away, um, this was a quick fix. It's hard to see the mess from that angle. The chart table is full of hard drives that we need to consolidate because there's no way we can take like 12 hard drives, which I think is what we have right now on the boat. A lot of this stuff is my clothes, to be honest. There's electronic equipment, cameras, and stuff that hasn't found a home yet. So, I'm gonna try to figure that out. Kitchen's not terrible, but I've got a bunch more stuff in boxes that still needs to be stowed. So that's my job today. So Kirk and I just finished a little workout on the dock right next to the boat and it's about 8 o'clock and I'm on my way to, there's a little liquor store right across the bridge um, from where the marina is so I'm going to get some white wine and Kirk's cooking dinner right now. I decided to get a little bit better view, you can kind of see the boat over there, she's a... Uh, not the blue one, not that white one, but she's behind that big white one. We've been on the boat for four days now, and so far, so awesome. <laughs> it's, it's finally feeling real um, after years of dreaming about this and probably, I don't know, three or four false starts with other boats. We finally are living on our boat. Which is so cool. We moved all of our stuff pretty much onto the boat. We weathered a storm last night and there was no leaks. Kirk and I have been working all day. Uh, we spent the whole weekend putting stuff away on the boat and this morning we were back to our official jobs which is um, photography and video editing for me and for Kirk it's project managing website design. Okay I am going to go buy this bottle of wine and go enjoy dinner. What did you cook us for dinner? I cooked quinoa. <clears throat> quinoa with kale and a cucumber mint salad. Wow. And we're gonna have hummus and pita chips. Cheers. <laughs>